What is up ladies, gentlemen, and fishermen of YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting episode on the Empire State Fishing Channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a review. I got a company from da Bass Dash Fishing sent me a pair of waders that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys, and I'm gonna show you my thoughts and give you my opinions on it, as well as we're gonna be doing a little bit of trout fishing to test out the gear and everything that I got from them in the Delaware River right here on the East Branch of the Delaware River. So, remember if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like, Hit the subscribe button down below and turn post bell notifications on to be notified of when I post future videos. Other than that, let's go get to fishing and let's get this review started. All right, so you're probably going to see me in this about, it may take me about five minutes, but it's probably going to take you one second. So the snap of my fingers, I'll be in the gear. All right, so a little bit of an update, just so that you guys know, let me take me off the stand here. So a little bit of an update, we got our first o-ring here we got a second o-ring right here a little chest pouch for all of our little tiny you know either corn or worms or stuff like that we also have some shotgun shells in case i want to do some duck hunting maybe if that's something that i can do and then i will turn you guys around you have your little 600 thin slit boots right on here some compressed knee pads all that good stuff and then you even have a belt on the side here that allows you to go all the way around so that you can actually use a net and stuff like that. So overall, I mean, I like these waders. If you guys want to check them out, I think they're $180 on Amazon. I think you have to go to Bass Dash Fishing and just click on there. These are their uh, camo neoprene, I'm pretty sure, waders with 600 thin slit booties and little knee pads. And then it comes with a belt and stuff like that, as well as some tighten downs. The only con that I have on these is it doesn't seem like they have one on the back side here they don't have like a little o-ring on the back so i don't i wouldn't be able to put my uh wouldn't be able to put my net on there but you know it is what it is i might be able to rig rig something up or i could put it maybe on my belt area right here but i mean not too shabby i mean for presentation for feel i'd give it a 10 out of 10 for presentation and you know packaging 10 out of 10 shipping 10 out of 10 with them i love their company i love everything about bass dash they're a great company and i'm proud to work with them and i mean as far as you know the feel and overall performance i'd probably give it about a 9 out of 10 the only reason why i wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 is just because of that little o-ring on the back side there but like i said i could probably manage it on my belt loop or something like that but that's the only reason why i'd give them a 9 out of 10 but if you guys want to check them out, I will leave a link down below for you to check them out. And like I said, they're like 180 bucks, but they're a lot better than the Bass Pro Shops and stuff like that. And they are very, very comfortable, especially for, uh, you know, going out on the water and long trips like this. You're not going to have it sink onto you and stuff like that. It's very loose. I'm able to maneuver around in it. So that's good. But anyway, that's enough with the review and I will see you guys out on the water. Let's go catch some fish with this stuff. I have one on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I know, right? I wish I had my net.
He was right on the shallows. Come on, stay pinned, you. Nice. Rooster tail. Look at that brown, guys. He's got to be at least 16, 17 inches. That's beautiful. First brown in a long time. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, at least they're starting to bite. That is awesome. Look at how healthy that brown is. 16, 17 inches, that's awesome. Let's get a picture for Instagram and then we'll go release them. Alrighty, buddy. Thank you very much for the fight. I appreciate it. First ever on the spinner. Go ahead, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, guys, all I was using is just a little tiny rooster tail spinner with an eggshell sinker right on the top of it. About 10 inches up, which is perfect. And he hammered that. He wasn't going nowhere, which is nice. And that is going to be it. That is my review on the Bass Dash Fishing Neoprene waders. And just remember, if you guys do end up going to Bass Dash, make sure you told them that I sent you, as well as check out the Bass Dash Fishing hat, as well as the Bass Dash Fishing goggles, kind of see that. And then they have different types of things there. They also have lures, they have line, they have poles, these, waders, glasses, hats, shirts, all that good stuff. And they're very good, high quality stuff. So make sure to check them out. I will leave a link down below and go scoop yourself up some gear. Thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you guys in the next fishing adventure. Go out and go get them.